Uh, hi, my name is Ayela Jermansky. I work for PlexTrack. My role is VP of Revenue Operations. PlexTrack is a cybersecurity company specialized with pen test reporting, uh, really supporting analytics as well as remediation going forward. We, we looked specifically to understand some of the behind the scenes that happens with our sales team, right? What solutions are they selling? How are they selling it? Really capturing a little bit of the data as well as providing visibility to our executive team in terms of what they approve, how they approve, um, where does the data falls, as well as connected with our product team and our customer success team in order to allow them to see what the customer has been promised and then therefore what they bought. Uh, some of the challenges we've seen is, I'd say we started uh, in a very manual Word doc, you know, so the data itself wasn't captured anywhere. Uh, it's, it was a lot in people's heads. Um, there was not a lot of s organized method in terms of how people were doing it. It was a little bit of free fall. Um, so with the ability of creating a synergized environment that follows the same structure, we're able to ensure that reps are able to sell quicker, right? And there's less internal negotiations because everything is visible. We know what's going on. There's a lot, a lot more visibility, which I think is the key word across the different teams. So visibility is really the idea of giving people insight into what's going on throughout. Right, so we want to make sure that as we are selling to the customer, what we're telling them and what we're showing them in an order form is the same thing, right? So you, first of all, you have a visibility to the customer in order for them to see what they're actually buying, right? That should correlate in terms of our executive team seeing what's going on on the deal. Is there profitability? Is there a discounting? Is there areas that we need to change or pivot in order to make a healthier motion um, across our, I'll call it the team or the executive vision? Um, taking it downstream, it's really important to then help our customer success team understand what was purchased, what was promised, right? So the ability for them to see what product they need to support, how are they supposed to have the conversation, that usually help them as early as at the kickoff call, right? Because they already know what the customer bought, they know what they need to provide on, as well as the ability to, to deliver on said promise. And it goes even more to our product team and saying, hey, here's the number of users that are using it or contractually, um, here is the number of product. So when we wanna do any specific analysis there later on how our users are being sold or our product being sold or is there one product more than the other is there any issues with one product versus the other we're able to gather that data all in one place and provide that higher insight to the team and the executive team uh, deal hub was really really great for us because we were able first of all to match our own processes and configure it the way we need it to be versus fit what the system is allowing us to be doing. Uh, the second thing that we really loved is the fact that there is a seamless integration between DealHub to our Salesforce. That allows us to capture all the data in a way that we need to and provide that seamless visibility that every other team needs throughout. Um, right now, by I would say we're still new, uh, but we have been able to gather and continuously create a good visibility and a, a good accuracy around our data value and what we're selling, how we're selling, quantities and so forth. So there's less manual cleanup, there's less, uh, I'll call it overhang in terms of the administrative work that we need to do to clean and organize and provide insights going forward. So in full transparency, I came, I was hired and then two weeks later, they're like, we're between deal hub and another solution, make a decision. Mm -hmm. um, knowing deal hub from previous experiences, I felt 
that re not knowing the product as well for the company, um, I knew that Deal Hub would be able to allow me to have the flexibility that I need to achieve whichever goal the company is trying to support. So I went with something that was very comfortable for me and I knew will allow me that flexibility regardless of what we're doing um, versus the other tools where I felt like approval workflows weren't really uh, enabling me to get the granularity of what I needed. Um, so I think the configuration specifically or the level of ability and granularity that the solution provided was the deciding factor. DealHub allows you to configure your product and your, I'll call it, vision or strategy the way you need to. That flexibility is something that will grow with you. <clears throat> the scalability overall is what I'm looking for as a RevOps leader to make sure that will allow me to pivot. And when I pivot, I pivot quickly, right? So a lot of time, I'd say today, for example, um, and the best example I can give is we started implementing new products in a way that we thought the market will buy. Through learnings and communication with our customers, we learned that rather than buying the way we thought, they're actually buying it based on different value metrics. And so we were able to reconfigure the solution in a way that will pivot very quickly. And so rather than per user, we can sell per capabilities. So that flexibility was something that didn't take a long time to re-implement. And it gave us the ability to say, oh, you want to buy it this way. Okay, I'll, I'll adjust to your need versus what we thought the market will do. Uh, I'm assuming because of said flexibility, it would depend if we would need to re-implement completely or pivot quickly. Um, but the flexibility will allow you to do whatever you need. So the first thing when we were onboarded, we were introduced with our uh, implementation specialist, customer success, um, and they were really instrumental in holding us throughout the process. Um, in the beginning, when we started, we've kind of broken down our implementation into phases. And we said, you know what, we'll start just with new business and then we'll move on to renewal and expansion and the whole subscription as a whole. Uh, we had a very, very tight deadline of nine weeks to implement. Um, and we were able to really work with them to align on here's the hours, here's our commitment, this is what we're able to provide. In those nine weeks, not only we were able to implement the new business, we actually implemented the whole thing, uh, which was immensely impressive, first of all because I didn't think we would be able to do from a time constraint. Um, but we were able to move. I would say the biggest things that I was impressed on is the fact that they're available and supporting us all the time. We've had meeting with them into the late night. We had consultations. They brought other experts as need be. Um, they really tried to help and understand our methodologies and train us so we would be uh, self-sufficient to be able to provide things going forward. Um, a lot of time what we were looking is for a partnership um, and the partnership specifically for us was how can you, based on your experience, tell us the best way to implement it based on our requirement. And they were able to provide that as well. I think the biggest feature that the team really likes is the deal talk. Um, and that's the ability to collaborate in real time, right? So one of the things we've seen in the past was I send something to approval and then I need to reject it because this is wrong or I configured or the, the discount percentage is wrong or special custom language. And then I need to go and redo the whole thing again. 
Uh, so the deal talk is something where the rep is able to tag specific people and tell them, hey, I want to do this, this, and this, or I want to add this language. Are we okay to even do this? And you have an audit of it afterwards. So A, there's, you just need to do it once. Uh, but B, you have that collaboration right there and the audit remaining. Uh, so we really like that feature quite a bit. My hope is that as we continuously evolve our pricing strategy and our solutioning, uh, DealHub will continue to support and provide that additional growth. I think depending on where the product would be, it would be nice at some point to be able to capture some of the legal, legalese, so to speak, the legal language and being able to sync that back um, I think additional reporting would be also really nice to be able to take it to the next level.